So this is a great little cheap rifle that works really good and is really reliable. I've probably put over 7,000 rounds through this thing and the only time it's malfunctioned it was just a couple of uh, bullets not ejecting and that was mostly because it was gummed up inside because I didn't clean it good enough or waited too long to clean it. Going hot. Doesn't like this new ammo. But other than that, it's been perfectly fine. Now this rifle comes in two different variants. It comes in this version, the all plastic version, and then the Blaze 47, which is this same rifle, at least the barrel and the receiver, and then it comes with plastic accents that look like wood, so it resembles an AK-47 and this kind of has the banana clip design just like the AK-47 as well you rock it into place just like an AK mag and it's got the same button in the same little spot and yeah it's just a really reliable very cheap rifle it was about hundred and eighty dollars and pretty much the whole thing is made of polymer except for the receiver and the barrel and these magazines that come with it are really nice too. They're really easy to load. You just pull these two buttons down right there and then load bullets. Just drop it right in. Pops right back up. It's super easy. You can do like three at a time. It's really easy to load them when you're on the go. Just like that. I figured I'd show that because it's a cool feature and it came with one of these 25 round mags and they do make smaller magazines for each state, what each state state requirements are. But anyways, another cool feature is when you're on the last bullet of that magazine and this would simulate you shooting your last bullet, it goes forward and then it closes when you pull the magazine out just like that. But yeah, like I was saying, it's pretty much all polymer. It's very light. I think it's just a few pounds, and the price was only $180. And it's a great rifle for its price. I would definitely recommend it. It's kind of like, in my opinion, it's like if Glock made a rifle, this is how it would be. Very similar to a Glock is this rifle. So, you got your Glock, pretty much the only thing that's metal on it is this slide, 
and the barrel. Let's see pretty much everything. Here's polymer to cut down on weight. And then what you really need is metal, is what's metal, the barrel, and the slide, and the firing pin, and all those mechanisms. And then saves, what, a pound or two right there, just with the plastic housing. And so we'll kind of disassemble this Mossberg, and we'll see what the inside of it looks like. It's actually just two plastic halves that come together and then there's, I think, like 16 screws or something like that to get to it. But you just unscrew all these little screws and then take the two halves apart and then you're just left with the barrel and the receiver. So we'll take a look at that real quick, see how that looks. So it's kind of a pain in the butt doing as far as rifle disassembly goes. You gotta go through and, like I said, unscrew all of those screws. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's not super bad. Could be worse. Now that we got all the screws out, we can take apart the two plastic housings. Oh, and one more thing, which before I take it apart all the way, is the Blaze 47 version that looks like the AK. It only comes with iron sights. This, it comes with iron sights you can adjust right here. And then this little 3 8 dovetail base rail in which I bought a little red dot side for it with the, that fits the 3 8 dovetail and you just slide it on, tighten it down and yeah, then you got a red green dot side on your 22. So that was something I figured I'd add in if you're interested in getting the Blaze 47 model or this model. With this model you have the ability to put optics and scopes on it so it's nice to have. So okay, we're going to take apart the two halves now. If we just Pop a part just like this. Oh, let's actually lock the bolt back first. Oh, let me do it. See, I had another screw on there. That's the thing, there's so many darn screws, it's hard to get them all without missing one. If you're not paying attention like me. Okay, now we can take it apart. Did I miss another one? Nope. Okay, there we go. Like I said, it's just two plastic halves, and then the barrel, and the receiver. So just, yeah, two super light polymer halves that make up the outer casing that just snap in like that, and then the screws hold together. And that's what you're left with. And then you got this. The barrel and the receiver. And from here it's not too hard. Okay, so that pops out. Receiver. There's a charging handle. And the firing pin. And then we just need an Allen wrench right here. Okay, and then the barrel comes off, and look at that, and that's all polymer, the trigger housing, all, that's pretty interesting, and weighs nothing too, and then this is polymer also, and so basically the only parts of this gun that are metal, is that part right there, the receiver, the charging handle, and the barrel. And this is aluminum, so it's super light. And the spring and the firing pin, which are also very light. So pretty much all the weight is just this barrel, and then the receiver. Er, so that's what the Mossberg Blaze 22 LR looks like, taken apart. It's just that, and then these two polymer shell pieces. So as you can see, there's not much to it, but it's a reliable 22 LR workhorse. Now, personally, I've never shot a Ruger 1022, but I imagine it would operate something very similar to this, because this thing is a workhorse and it's never let me down, and I don't see why it would. I plan on having it for quite a long time. I try to take good care of it and clean it as much as possible. But yeah, I would highly recommend this Rimfire 22LR rifle, especially for its cheap price. 
it's ridiculously cheap and it's well worth it. $180 and you got a 22 to last you thousands and thousands of rounds. So, yeah, go ahead and get it. Well, go ahead and like my video and subscribe to my channel and have a good night. Thanks for watching.